<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Man Cave 101. I guess this will be gaming. Uh, I am your host, Abel, alongside of me, the man in the chair. Hey, Aaron, how are we doing tonight? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't figured it out, we're talking about uh, a little bit of uh, God of War Ragnarok. It's been out there for a little while. Um, just to give you an idea, me and Aaron have already beat the main story, doing some extra stuff. He's way ahead of me. What are you at, 80% now? I'm at 80% full completion of the game right now. Jesus Christ. And let me tell you guys, if you haven't played this, it's a doozy. But as always, let me go through my spiel. This is the Man Cave 101 podcast. We talk about all things nerdy, TV, movies, comics gaming etc etc if you haven't already like comment and subscribe youtube facebook instagram tiktok god dang it twitter apple podcast twitch <laughs> and spotify god we're on everything now it's everywhere <laughs> everywhere everywhere um please if uh if you have played this game um if you're in the middle of it let us know in the comments where are you at how are you liking it so far obviously try to uh, avoid some spoilers uh if you haven't played the game we will be talking about a little bit of spoilers just to give us some initial thoughts. And uh, later on, we'll be doing a uh, full in-depth review of everything about this game. Because, um, I don't know, between uh, me and Aaron, we probably both think this is game of the year. Oh, um, not enough. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then we wanted to go through our, uh, our little collector's kit a little bit. So uh, as I started with in the beginning, um, we have this huge <laughs> giant box that you can probably see on Aaron's screen a little bit better. And uh, as, yeah, as you open it up, boom. This guy. Let me tell you something about this guy. This is, this is sick. We can hurt people with this thing. Like but I yeah. can, like the way Thor throws this at someone, like you wouldn't think it's that it's as heavy as it is, but like this is gonna hurt someone if I hurl we're, it at their face. We're, we're gonna get into a little spoiler, bro. Remember just from the very beginning, about time. Yeah, <laughs> I was, yeah. I was like, oh, he's literally like this, just like holding the hammer. I was God. Like, yeah, from that moment on, I was like, oh, oh no. Yep, yep, we got a game. So it comes with this uh, beautiful collector's box. You get a little little baggie with a whole bunch of dice in it. I don't really yes. know. Yeah, Aaron, so what's actually, the, what's so the actually, dice game? Because I have no idea. So actually, I was going to say, I can get into what a nice. little bit of this stuff is because I do want to show everybody. I mean, it's going to be a little tough on camera, but let's uh, let's kind of show it as get best some we can stuff. here. So these are dice. these are actually yeah. So we have this dice set. These are actually dwarven dice, which from the game. I know it's a little hard to tell on the camera. Yeah. There from you go. the game, there's actually um, there's actually like a game that the dwarves, uh, Sindri and Brock, talk about in the course of the first game and also this game. And this is basically like the dice set that they created to play that game. But I don't know how the game is played or anything like that. Yeah. But, um, I, yeah. I do, I do I think it's a pretty know. cool thing. Yep. Um, then we also got these two wooden carvings, which are the veneer twins. So these are pretty cool. And boom. Again, this is just like the collector's edition. So I believe this was uh, like 200 bucks. Yeah. Um, there was, Abel and I were able to get the second edition, not the ultimate edition, which came with like a soundtrack and a couple other things. But um, we were able to get our hands on this. So obviously these are two uh, prominent characters from the games. Also really cool. Um, mm -hmm. It also came with, instead of your normal PlayStation 5 uh, cover, it came with the steel book, which is kind of cool. It has Very uh, nice. some has some some writing on the back. Yep. Like, uh, like the runes that you read during the game. Pretty mm -hmm. cool. Also, this cover with the wolves, which as we as if, if you guys have played the game or you know have played the previous game, obviously the wolves play a prominent role in this from the beginning to the end. Um, so pretty cool. And then obviously we get our, our hands on the Norse mythology Mjolnir in the box, which is just I mean, obviously, this is the creme de la creme right here of the box. Right. You know, I gotta say, when I really when I first was playing the when we were playing the first game and like we, we got the little teaser for Thor at the end, and like you first see the hammer, I'm like Ugh, it's a little small, but then like you like they must they they obviously went back and like really did it, and this thing yeah. is just like insane. The level well, of detail, the all of it. Well, here's the thing. I, I don't think you're wrong. I do think they went back and probably uh, they redid it a little bit, but I think we have to remember that the the whole the the Thor that we see in the game Ragnarok. You have to remember we're talking about like size proportions, right? So like Thor. In size, trumps Kratos, who I believe, if I'm, you know what, I'm going to look it up because I want to see, I'm, I'm curious as to see what their heights and stuff were. 
but like they're absurd because they're gods so yeah. even if kratos is like a staggering like like you know between six five and seven foot like so, that makes more like 10 12 feet like, right so so they say that officially kratos is listed by the design team as six foot four okay and and thor makes him look tiny in right. some when they're next to each other so you have to figure uh thor height in ragnarok let's see if they have that i'm curious hmm. uh they say he's he's a little over seven feet tall in ragnarok which makes sense right. well it's also he, he's like he, three he of also, in weight i was like, gonna yeah. say in size which was you have to remember so we got fat thor in like the mcu this was really like fat norse mythology thor so he was literally a gargantuan he's a big boy and he yep. packed some power when he hit you with this goddamn hammer he was very annoying but <laughs> yeah like we we had to jump on this collector's edition right away and like we wanted the ultimate edition we just couldn't get it in time no matter what we did damn like scalpers that, yeah you, you, you guys suck <laughs> yeah you guys, you guys really suck, suck. You take yeah, the fun yeah, out of everything seriously it's, it's <laughs> sugma season for y'all because y'all suck it but um all right so apart from the collector's edition um just um some general thoughts about the game itself um Story's amazing. I mean, it, in my opinion, Kratos is easily one of the best playable game characters out there. Oh, has um, to be. yeah, possibly ever. I I don't know. Um, I, I just the story, the game, the, the gameplay. Even though it was very similar, it was still refreshing because you know you get, you know, you get a different weapon throughout. Like you get to play with different characters. You know, all all of that stuff. Um, Odin and Thor coming into the game are just incredible ads, and the oh, way spoiler. they. Yeah, no, I said spoilers in the beginning. Oh, you did. Yeah, okay. I did. I said spoilers spoiler. in the beginning. So, okay, fair, yeah, fair. and and the way the way their um their story pans out and ends up is just uh you know while while some can guess what happens, you you won't. Um, you know there were there were definitely <laughs> some plots and twists along the way, especially there with sure were. fucking tear. But we'll get into that another time. <laughs> that's that's for part two full spoilers. <laughs> yeah, and, and honestly, within the first hour of this game, it had me tearing up. I know Aaron oh. had a Aaron had a moment too, uh, and oh. even at the at the end of this game, um, there were just some moments that um, you know, with Kratos and and some things that go down that we all just uh, it, it hit the heart, it hit home. So like this game just does all of it. All of it, uh, Aaron. What uh, what do you what do you think? Yeah, I will say uh, the game gets you emotionally invested from the jump. Literally, from the first five minutes you get into the game, you're you're emotionally. If you are emotionally invested from God of War 2019, you get re emotionally invested into both Kratos and Atre Kratos and Atreus right from the jump of the game. Literally, you're just involved in the story. Um, so they they do it so well. The way they actually develop the characters to me throughout the course of the game, without getting too spoilery, is just really really cool. There's a lot of different arcs that go into both characters. Um, I still do things at times. I found myself being like Atreus, you little bitch. I want to backhand you because you annoy me. <laughs> um, but but he overall by the end of the game, I think they kind of put him in a solid place. As yeah. far as character development and, goes, and I don't know how you felt. I I didn't mind playing him so much. Like I no. I like. I liked when he had the sword too. Like, oh, uh, for sure. Oh, it was so good. Like, for I, sure. I didn't. Yes. I, I thought I was gonna hate playing with him. Didn't. Like, I was okay with it. I was. Yeah. Okay. I actually, there were times in the first game when you had to play as Atreus. You were like, oh man, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. This is gonna be hard. But like yeah. this game, they kind of made him. Obviously, he's a little bit older during this game than he was in the 2019 game. Mm -hmm. Um, so he's developed a little bit as far as his fighting skills and all that. I like the fact that they gave him his own like fighting tree and stuff like that. So this way he had yeah, powers cool. and stuff like that. Like I, I thought that was a good addition to the game. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, overall, I mean, like you said from the beginning, I would just say if this isn't game of the year, it got robbed. Right, hundred percent. Because um, Santa Monica Studios, kudos to you guys because you just you keep me coming back. And if you Unreal. make another edition, which bro, I don't know. Again, I'm not getting. I hope I'm not getting too into spoilery. We'll save more of the real story and overwhelming stuff for our part two of this so make yeah. sure you guys check that out in the future um but there's already rumors going there i heard one of two things i heard either um treus is going to get a dlc possibly right which i god of war hasn't done that before so that would be interesting right. i'd be curious or poten potentially an atreus like side game almost mm -hmm. which would again interesting to see if that's how that develops Right. Um, and then I also already heard rumors that there would be another installment where Kratos actually goes into another pantheon, which would be Egyptian lore. Oh, my God. Which, if that's <laughs> real, if, if that's the truth, 
That's insane. Uh, then that would absolutely be nuts because oh my god, yeah, uh, because um, they jumped him from you know the 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 Greek pantheon to right. the you know the Norse mythology that he's and, in now. And I remember if you remember from the first game too, they they uh, uh, the the first God of War. I'm I'm pretty sure when they were um, I think in Tears Palace or somewhere when they were looking at one of the things you open, there were all the different symbols for different um, places God of War. And mm-hmm. like one, one was like I recognized one from like like Japan. I, I recognize mm-hmm. and like I'm sure Egypt was there. So like th- that might have been an Easter egg. And um, another mm-hmm. thing to notably mention too, the game director for this game was different than the last one. Uh, Kyle, yes. what's his name? Kyle Bar- Barog or uh, something like that. I'm, I apologize if I'm getting his name wrong, but apparently this dude has like disappeared off the face of the planet and no one knows what he's doing he was involved in god of war ragnarok a little like uh, in the background like kind of helping guide the thing but apparently this guy is doing something with santa monica right now that no one knows about oh it's a secret project yeah it's a complete secret project he like fell off the map and honestly if if it's uh, this guy has been with god of war since the beginning if i'm not mistaken so like so for him to just disappear like that they're working on something big they're 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 working on something i I mean People wait for these games, and obviously, I think this game did wait. We had to wait a little bit longer due to obviously everything with the pandemic and all that. I feel like we probably had another year extension on this game from when it right. was really supposed to come Still out. Worth um, but it was it was worth the wait because of how the game had minor glitches when it came out. But most games do these days. Let's face facts. They had so many patches though. I've never but seen they, so many patches, bro. They threw out like four patches week one, yeah. and I was like, holy shit! Like again, Santa Monica Studios. Yeah, applause to you for bravo. getting right in there and fixing shit because that's it, fantastic. It was awesome because uh, we uh, the last time we pre-ordered a fucking game, uh, <sighs> I, yeah, we we got uh, <laughs> the whole game got completely annihilated and somehow some people are still playing it. I don't Leo, even know that's possible. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know. That's possible, to be honest with you. But um, but yeah, I mean, overall, dude, I just think this game was just so much fun. I actually like towards the end, I was actually like, I was upset. Not, I don't want to say upset. You're I was sad. I was emotional that yeah. how, where the story wound up. Again, I'm trying not to get too spoilery because that's for part two. But I was also upset that the game was over. I was like, damn, I'm done. Like, I was almost I like, I, I want to keep going. <laughs> I didn't want to be done at all. I didn't want to be done. <laughs> I wanted to play that game. I want to play that game for another 80 hours. I'm absolutely playing it. I'm playing it again the second time. Like, I'm doing I, if they, when When they put out New Game Plus, I'm in. Yeah, I'm playing it. Bye. I'm in. I'm going to play yeah. New Game Plus 100%. Yeah, um, like, and I'm and I'm gonna so be curious impressed. to see if we're if it's done because people are saying that there might be a DLC, there might be new content. So if they keep adding more stuff to it, I will keep coming back and playing this game. I mean, and again, spoilers, but like I'm very curious to see what's going on with Atreus and those marbles. Like those marbles got me so mm-hmm. interested. It like mm-hmm. when that moment, that was one of the moments for me where I was like, oh, they're gonna do some shit like this. Like mm-hmm. they have to have more up their sleeve. They have to. And um, I think I think overall the thing to take away without again I'm trying really not to get too spoilery yeah but the relationship between Kratos and Atreus in this game comes twofold like they go from just hating each other to loving each other to and and just you could tell that how much Atreus grew throughout the point in this game to mm-hmm. the point that like. He's just going to be such an integral part of the the God of War series moving forward. Right, mm-hmm. and so honestly, like... like Kratos too. The way he, mm-hmm. he 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 was old man Kratos in uh, you know like like Gran Torino, get off my lawn guy. But <laughs> yeah. like but like in this one, he went from get off my lawn guy to like like you know give me give me a hug. But like mm, good boy, give me a hug. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. like he was he there was there was some emotional stuff coming out of this man during this game, and it was. It was, it felt, you felt it. And was, we're talking about a video game here. Let me, and you just, let, you felt it. I just want, I want to say one more thing because I, I don't want to push the video too far over, but I right, just yep. want to say one thing about this game that really, I loved every boss fight I encountered in this game. Mm-hmm. I've never played a game where I have loved every single boss and their dynamics and how tough they were. Yeah. The only, like, obviously, there, there's, extra content in the game that we'll get into in the more spoilery part two but who they're, they're a pain in the ass those things that you have to fight which again I'll get the berserkers we'll call but them. i'm talking about the, the storyline bosses throughout the game that you have to fight i'm not going to say names because i'm going to get too spoilery i don't right, want to yep. for everybody but there's bo- multiple bosses throughout the time from your i forget 20 plus hours of story time and they every one of them 
was somewhat challenging. Uh, they were fun, ultimately, though. And by the end, you're just so satisfied beating right. the ball. You're I, just like, I man. Was, <laughs> I, like, there are some games you go through where, like, you're bored with boss fights. I was never bored Not at any time. of these fights, at any of these junctures. No. Not one time. It was just so much fun throughout the entire thing. And let me tell you this. Thor and Odin were, I mean, they were fantastic. Balder was so good Chef in the last kisses. game. Chef Balder kisses. was like a pain in the ass in the last game. But Odin and Thor in this game was just tre like tremendous. I love right. And from the very beginning, Thor they is hit in you your in the face. face. <laughs> they hit you in the they hit you in the face with Thor and Odin. And like you didn't think they were going to do it that quick. But they, they, right. they done did it. They right. done did. <laughs> I just, I just, oh, like I said, new game plus. I will revisit it. I will. De this is a, a game I rarely play games like story, like these kind of story games, two and three times. The only mm -hmm. real one that I played two times was The Last of Us because it was my favorite game of all time. This game I will play new game plus just to play it again because I had that much fun. Oh, it was incredible. All right. Well, with that being said, that's our our little uh, like first take at uh, God of War Ragnarok, and we will be back for a much longer, deeper take. And that is oh. what she said. Um, so, with that being said, from uh, myself and Aaron, this is the Man Cave One Hundred and One Podcast. Um, if you haven't gaming. already, like, comment and subscribe. Yeah, gaming, gaming, <laughs> game. Um, like, comment, subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, Apple Podcast, Spotify. Uh, nice shot, with that, nicely done. With, yeah. With that being said. Uh, Happy playing. Give me my outro.